It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Popped over Iceland. Did you see that pause then? I'm really excited for this. Popped over Iceland for some Cathedral City. Now, I love cheese so much, especially that kind of strong vintage cheddar. So, Cathedral City have teamed up with Iceland and they brought out two pork and cheddar sausage rolls. Vintage sausage rolls. Look at them. They were £3 for two, wrapped in puff pastry and sprinkled with parsley from the nation's favourite cheese. These go in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes on gas mark seven. Let's get them open. This is proper, proper beer food, isn't it, you know? My plan for this is to put these now on a baking tray, get them both in the oven, and whilst they're cooking, because my camera setup is set up and we're recording, I've got 35 minutes to play around with, so I'm gonna pop a couple of beer reviews in whilst these are cooking. Great idea. Right, there they are. There's a look at them. Um, I will be back. In 35 minutes. See you then. Oh my goodness me. Goodness me. You want to see these sausage rolls? I just checked them from the oven. They look incredible. Let's get them out. Oven off. Check these out. Look at them. Bang on time as well. Bang on time. Literally within a minute of them saying they were ready. That 35 minutes. Look at the size of that sausage roll. Bit of cheesy bit going on right I got I, I underestimated the kind of the size of the plate I, I think I need to put one of these on another or maybe just put it I'll put it on one of these wooden chopping boards Ooh. Look at that. It says on the side of the box, which I was slightly surprised of, that it's 26% pork. For whatever reason, I thought that it would be a little bit more sausage meat going on, but that, that's enough. It's definitely enough. I mean, it must be sawdust and other things that are making up the, <laughs> the sausage. Only joking. So I just cut through the side. Look at that. Steaming away. Look how juicy, look how juicy that pork looks. I don't know, I don't know if you've got cheese on the top or this cheese, it's got me salivating, absolutely salivating. Cheese in the sausage or actually cheese in the, on, on the lid of the, the sausage roll. Anyway, here we go. It's just a dream. It's just... It's like waking up, brushing your teeth in the morning, walking the dog, having a cup of coffee, and then going into this kind of dream of... of this amazing sausage roll. Um, you can... You can go to some of these, like, farmer's markets these days, or we have a... We have a garden centre near us and 
you've got uh, and they've just opened um like a farmer's farmer's market inside the garden center all local produce and you see these big sausage rolls and they're like three pound fifty for one and i've tried one and they're fantastic they're really good but it looks like and whether you agree with this or not it looks like the supermarkets have latched on to this kind of eat local make a big massive sausage roll um sell it for good money it looks like they've seen that opportunity look and they've they've come up with their own that's a large sausage roll when, when you think of a when you think of an iceland sausage roll maybe back in the 1990s early 2000s when you think of an iceland sausage roll you think of like mini sausage rolls or you think of like the the, the long thin sausage rolls from from greg's you don't think of a a premium sausage roll like this do you with 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 cathedral ch city cheese running through its veins oh my goodness me it's just look at it it's just absolute heaven mm. see the cheese there it is for all to see that's the cathedral city cheese so very quickly my message is if you can because everything's expensive at the moment isn't it if you can still support local support local if it's within your budget to support local yeah go and do that But if you can't and things are a little bit tighter pop to Iceland and pick up some of these because they're blooming good mm. the pastry is incredible what do they call it on the top there I think they said it was sprinkled with um parsley you got a taste of that parsley on top that little bit of kind of greenness that i like to call things but look i'm going to show you again i'm going to show you again look at the cheese running through that sausage roll it's it's a kind of i know it's it's of course it's processed it's ultimately a big old processed sausage with cheese running through it but i mean even so it's tasty it's a little bit just have a taste then it is slightly oily i'm getting to the fact i'm getting to the point now where I mean, I was honest enough earlier on. I was on, honest enough to say earlier on that I'd, um, whilst this was in the oven, I, I'd review a couple of beers. These these were the two beers I chose. It was a it was a dark lager and a pale ale, American pale ale. And halfway through the sausage roll, I'm like, ooh, that's oily and I'm kind of drying my mouth out a little bit. So I am going to indulge in a, in a sip of beer here. That's the American Pale Ale. Just to, you know, just to kind of wet the old gums up a bit. I think we can probably do away with a fork now. Um, normally when I get things out the oven, it's like burning my face, but. Oh. I think I could only eat one. If you if you ask me to eat two, I'm sure that bearded bloke on YouTube could eat two of these without like batter an eyelid. Um, the bearded UK food eating champion. 
but already it's starting to get a bit whew, starting to get a bit much it's starting to get a bit slightly sickly yeah almost to the point where i'm thinking i may not be able to finish this it's i know there's not much left but there's so much going on that lovely cheese flavor it's very oily. It's very oily. It's very fatty. I wouldn't eat one of these every day. You'd shorten your lifespan by about 40 years, I think. The cheese is immense, though. The cheese and the sausage, it's, it's, it's like a proper craft sausage roll. But boy, I'm really struggling now. The first, When I grabbed the beer, I was already grabbing the beer thinking, wow, that's, um, that's oily and that's, I'm on my limit. To finish this, it's, it's a bit of a struggle. And I've not eaten since yesterday. It's not like I'm coming into this food review. Like I've had breakfast or th this is my breakfast. It really is. There's no, there's no way in a million years I could finish that second sausage roll. It's just way too much. That's a sausage roll pack for sharing. That's like you and your partner. Maybe buy another pack if you've got children. Give them one each. But but the children are going to struggle to finish that. They really are. Uh, Pardon me. Um... Rating for these Cathedral City sausage rolls, sausage and cheese rolls. Um, Do you know, if you stop the review after the first half of eating the sausage roll, I'd say this is just incredible. This is the best thing since sliced bread. But now, after struggling that last bit down... It was a struggle. That was I used the word struggle. So it, it was a struggle to get that second half down, to be honest. It was really kind of oily and fatty and too much. Too much. So, oh, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. It's still blooming tasty. If you had a taste of it, you'd be like, oh, this is the best thing ever. But 7 out of 10 trying to finish that whole sausage roll. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.